Hi honeys, how's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. Okay, today I'm getting ready to fix some spaghetti squash. So I've already um, poked some holes in this squash. I'm putting it in the uh, microwave for about three or four minutes so it can soften, so I can cut it. I'm already um, browning my meat. And then I'll be fixing the spaghetti squash in my instant pot pressure cooker. I got the Kasori plugged in. I want the other one because the other one is bigger. I'll be back. Okay, then I'm going to take my, what you call it, spaghetti squash out the microwave. It's been um, softening up for five minutes. It's very hot. So please use oven mitts. Now, i put the other one in. Some holes. This is still warm. Uh, I made my meat sauce. Y'all seen me make this before. This is what the sauce I use. The Prego garlic and herb. And classic pasta sauce. Got that from Aldi. I've cleaned off this with a damp paper towel. So I'm going to poke some holes in. You have to be very careful because this is hard. And you can't, I don't want to break, break this blade. In the past, I have used a, a hammer and a screwdriver to try to uh, cut it. I don't know if this will explode if I just put it in here without putting holes in it. So, I ain't taking no chances. Okay, put this in the microwave for five minutes. I want to cut it the long way. I'll, I'll cut it the bold way. I hope it's softened up some. Keeping my hands well out the way. And I still ain't that soft. I need a serrated edge knife. I've had my knife set for, it was a wedding present. So over 40 years, y'all. Just realized it. Okay, that ain't doing nothing. I might have to go back in there to soften up some more. I don't feel like struggling with it. And this little knife would break it. I don't know if I, uh, what happened to my serrated knife. It's a slot empty in that knife holder. Okay, this is going in. I'm always struggling with these things. Okay, y'all don't need to see me struggle, but the struggle is real, y'all. Okay, y'all, I've cut the first one, I've cut the second one, I've cleaned it out, and this is where you have to scoop out all this stuff. seeds actually look like pumpkin seeds and you can roast them, salt them and roast them. So you just like pumpkin seeds. 
Okay, that's good. So I'm about to go to the pressure cooker. I'm going to spritz some oil in these and season the inside of these. This is olive oil. Okay, I'm going to season them inside a little bit. So let's go into the pressure cooker. All of a sudden, I got very dizzy and I thought I was going to fall. So I had to ease my way to the dining room to sit down for a few minutes. So what you see here is me trying to figure out if there's an on or off button on this Instant Pot. So I poured in some chicken broth. That's the trivet I had in the bottom. Poured in about two cups of chicken broth. And I had oil to the inside of each of the um, spaghetti squash halves. Okay, come on already. And I'm going to lightly season the inside of each uh, spaghetti squash half with my garlic and herb seasoning that I mixed up and I need to make some more. And I'm going to try to fit all four of these things in this pressure cooker but I couldn't so I was just getting ready to go get my kasori and use both of my pressure cookers at one time and hope that the lights didn't blow. I don't know what I'm doing now. And I always put the cut halves down. And I saw right there and then that I couldn't fit them all in there. And I was kind of woozy at this point. So I just left it. After I sat down in the dining room for a few minutes, I went into the family room where Jeannie and Walter were. And I was, I was trying to make my way to the chair that I liked the best. Jeannie looked at me and said, Mama, what's wrong? So I went and sat myself down before I fell down. Well, right there I was checking the gasket to make sure it was seated properly or else uh, it wouldn't have came up to pressure. But I wound up letting Jeannie continue cooking my spaghetti squash in the oven. And I felt like I was going to fall then. So I said, let me go sit my tail down before I fall on this kitchen floor. Don't nobody want to be mopping up blood. Let me hush. Hi, honeys. Okay, I was in the midst of cooking some spaghetti squash for Jeannie. She's supposed to be going back home today. And I got as far as cutting my uh, spaghetti squash. I had two, so there were four pieces. So I had uh, cut them and scooped all the seeds and stuff out. And I had just put them in the pressure cooker. And I was going to need to use both pressure cookers so they could both cook at the same time. I had made the meat sauce. And this vertigo came on me so strong, I had to ease my way to the dining room chair. I sat there for a few minutes and I came in here where Jeannie and Walter were. And what's that you said, Jeannie? Mama, what's wrong? Yeah. Mama, what's wrong? Because she's waiting to eat. So, she just went in the kitchen and I instructed her how to fix the spaghetti squash in the oven. Got some pants and put 
the squash in the pans, turn the oven to 350, and they should take about 45 minutes in the oven. So I always oil the inside of my squash, and I seasoned it a little bit. And like I said, I already made the meat sauce. So I'll show y'all the, well, she's going to show you the finished dish. Because if I get up right now, I will fall. And can't nobody pick me up. <laughs> okay. Y'all pray for me. I ain't in no pain or nothing, but I'm dizzy. Very, very dizzy. Okay, y'all. Just took this out the oven. Okay, I had some, uh, what I have down in the pan? Chicken broth. Oh, yeah, the chicken broth in the bottom of the pan. I turn these upside down. Now Jenny's ready to eat. <laughs> you got your dish? I, Just I, barely reached Right, it. I couldn't even reach that. <laughs> Shorty. Okay, these are very hot, so I'm going to. Okay. Now, use the pot holders or these here. So put this in your bowl. Be careful, it's hot now. Can you get it? Do I turn it upside around? Yes. Okay. Take this fork. Mm -hmm. You're going to scrape the inside. That's what's going to make this. Let me show you. That's what's going to make the spaghetti part. I don't want to stab your finger. See how you do that? Believe me, it's going to be good. She's never had it before. You just have. You told me you didn't have it. How do you think I know about it? Jackie oh. make it. Okay. Okay, that's how you do the spaghetti part. And it's really, really hot. Now, this is a lot. So, you can put your sauce right in the... The gourd, whatever you call this thing. And you can keep scraping. Okay? It'll make spaghetti squash as long as you scrape. See that? You go deep like that. Well, you get the idea. Oops. What if somebody ain't, don't eat this all? Put some foil over the top and save it for later. For later. So you, if you don't think you're gonna eat all this, yeah, stop scraping. So <laughs> I can save some for later. Okay. That's a lot of meat, ain't it? Okay. Give me some of that sauce. I got this slotted spoon. Oh. That's good. Okay, thank you. You gonna put some of this pot of cheese on it or not? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna get out of here because I can't stand smelling it. It's from the pizza place. It's kind of dark in here. That's it. Okay. I've been hungry since last night. Well, no pizza was in the fridge. I know. I ain't feel like making nothing. Okay, she's going to eat it right out the, the squash bowl. So it's too hot for her to sample it right now. So... Close, ain't you? Yes. That's hot now. It's hot, bro. Bro. <laughs> That's good. 
What you say? That's good. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, you fixed it. Okay, I'm so, done. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Jeannie fixed this, y'all. I'm going to lay down. And that's how this is going to be dinner. I had some leftover pizza from yesterday. And I think I need to drink something sweet. So I had some tea. Sweet tea. This just goes to show you that you never know how your day will turn out. Okay, I'm about to go lay down. I want you all to have a very blessed day. Bye.